What's up? How's it going? How's it going? Today is October 4th and I am just so stoked that it's finally October and today is a really like cloudy just kind of foggy day which is like the perfect October vibe for me and I'm really excited because next week uh, today's Sunday but starting next week on Friday it's supposed to be raining constantly for like at least through Monday next week is what the weather shows so far and I'm so excited bring on the rain <laughs> We're making banana bread. Banana bread tip one. Freeze the bananas. And these are easier to mash to make the banana bread more moist. Mm. Thanks mom for the tip. Now we have moist banana bread dough and salt everywhere. Shrimpin' mm. walnuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, she's going in the oven. She gonna take about an hour. Hmm. Really, that long? Jeez. That's what mom said. I'm not gonna take that long. Eh, it might. It might. I'm not putting it in that long. Oh, look at all these, mom. Wait, just throw <laughs> this is the tester. Oh, look at that. So cute. Gather. And we have this towel over here too. So cute. So it's a little bit later in the day and the banana bread turned out pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. I've spent today pretty much doing absolutely nothing but I discovered this song accidentally when I was looking up another song and it's called October by Alicia Cara. And I know it's kind of like a summer song, I guess, because she's saying, I hope we never see October, but I feel like it's such a good bot for this time of year. <laughs> it's just so catchy. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought I would let you know that I really like that song. Is it a package? <laughs> Hank, stay back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Tank, no. Oh my god. Buddy. Congrats, babe. Uh, wow. Oh Those are larger than life. Ready? <laughs> it's it's kind of cheesy, but. <laughs> oh, cute. What is it? It's like a little picture of like the 50. <laughs> Gosh, you need to YouTube plug when you have mom. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, so, so sweet. Yeah, it's just a little something, something. Mom being soft. <laughs> Again. I love my He's girls. So Take, what are your thoughts? Amazing. <laughs> Join it? Yeah. Oh my god, amazing. Wow! But that's the thumbnail of the vlog. Huh? <laughs> Look at this poor little dude. Oh my gosh. This cone is bigger than him. Tank had to get surgery. He got his uh, little snip snip surgery, if you know what I mean. And poor little dude has to wear this cone for two weeks. Oh, Tinky, oh. It's okay, Tinky. Hello, it is October 12th, and this morning I just wrapped up my reading your horror recommendations uh, reading vlog that video that I just did. And it was so much fun and I feel so accomplished now that I've finished that first reading vlog because I don't know why, like, it's just so intimidating to think about reading four books for one video. And now I'm on the way to Bath and Body Works because they sent me like a 20% off coupon and I really wanna get a white pumpkin candle and some extra hand soaps that like smell like the fall. So I'm off to do that. And you know something that's kind of terrifying that happened over the weekend is that on Saturday, the company that I work for, they own six different restaurants and not my restaurant, but the restaurant that's closest to us got shut down and closed on Saturday because one of the employees there 
has covid i kind of feel like this was going to happen eventually but it's still like really scary you know to hear about it and luckily like it wasn't my location but still it's just like it's just a reminder that this pandemic is so real and it's really scary and especially with like rachel being sick right now and everything that's going on with her like she cannot absolutely cannot get covid right now so we're just like trying to be extra careful not that we weren't before but like ugh, it's just really scary so um so that happened on saturday <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got out of Bath and Body Works and I bought so much shit again. I swear, I, I can't be trusted in this store, dude. I got like some cute fall soaps. One of these is toasted vanilla chai and the other one is pumpkin cupcake. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. And I had so many like free different coupons and they had so many sales going on. I got the crisp morning air candle because it smells very fall like to me and then i also got autumn woods because they were selling these candles two for 20 and one of them is like 14 dollars. so i was like yeah might as well i also had a free small gift so i got this which is this into the night body cream i smelt it and it smells amazing i also got some cute little hand sanitizers because they were only like a dollar 50 and they had these cute flavors of mush marshmallow pumpkin latte and sweet cinnamon pumpkin freaking cute and then they had this new body spray called lakeside citrus and holy shit this is my new favorite scent in the world so i just got this bottle and then they had you buy three and get two of them for free so i went back and i got the lotion of that scent and then i also got the white pumpkin and chai lotion too which i'm so excited to use this i love lotions song on red 
you can fight me. <laughs> I was reminiscing just the other day while I've been coughing all alone and got into me away. Back to a first glance, feeling on the old time. Like when you fit in my bones, like a perfect bride. Took off fast and in a green light glow. Now you skip the conversation when you already know. I left to know on the door of the jewelry play. And that was the first day. Oh, it's all in. It was good. Now we're looking down. We're right there where we stood. So the girl, this many women, girl in a brand new dress. We had this big white city all to ourselves. We blocked the noise with the sound. I need you. And for the first time, I had some pretty clothes. And I guess I fell apart in the usual way. And the storm's now done, so on every page. Sometimes I wonder how you think about it now. And I see your face in every crowd. And it's darling, it was good. Now we're looking down. We're right there where we stood. It's home and round. Oh, what about? <laughs> Oh, so iconic. So the Dodgers are absolutely crushing it right now. 15 to 1 in the fourth inning. And in the first inning, they hit a grand slam. Hello, it is a little bit later in the night and earlier today I did finish Don't Look For Me and I've got to say I thought the ending was pretty decent for this book. Uh, there was one plot twist that I thought was really interesting that I didn't see coming but besides that I still feel pretty underwhelmed by this book in general. Like I don't know what it is. I just maybe Wendy Walker just isn't the author for me because I just never really get that excited about her books. Like I find her thriller plot lines to be very generic and just nothing new like i don't know i don't know if that's harsh or not but i just i can never really get into her books the way i want to at least not since emma in the night like emma in the night is the only one that i've ever really really enjoyed from this author but even emma in the night was only like a 3.5 out of 5 stars for me so it still wasn't something i absolutely loved what are your thoughts rachel just finished evelyn hugo yesterday it was good <laughs> so good mm -hmm. She said she cried at the end. Did you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say spoiler, but. It was beautiful. It Very was sad. beautiful. It was heartbreaking. Yeah, it was very heartbreaking. I still don't know if I like the ending as much. Really? As the rest of the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite character? Evelyn. <laughs> Mine's but like Harry. Evelyn or Harry. Uh, yeah, like... I like Harry, but no, Evelyn's the best. Is she a bad bitch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still trying to decide if I like Celia that much. Mm. But mm, it goes like in and out. Yeah. I don't even agree with some things, but it's a game. Mm -hmm. I feel that. It's still a good bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you finally read it. Holy shit. Yeah. One of my top, top favorite books ever. I didn't know it was like 400 pages. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Yeah, okay. It's pretty thick. Mm. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Well, good. Yeah. It's the most uh, lit Saturday no. night <laughs> ever. We got some Olive Garden. I got dessert too. This is their chocolate like lasagna thing. So fucking good. And then I also just bought this bottle of wine. That's like a Moscato, pink Moscato. It looks so good. So we're just gonna eat all this food mm -hmm. and then watch a cheesy Halloween movie. <laughs> all right, we are cheers in it. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Woo! Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Wait, ah! Did you finish it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't know anything about I, that I one. started. Yeah, we're going to have to have a talk. I, I was yeah. supposed to read that one. And, and actually, yeah. to be honest, there's so much at the very end. No yeah. spoilers. But you have, Crazy. To, you have to really, we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. Because so much happened and I, I really, 
kind of, I didn't, I didn't have my bulletin board. Oh at no. The, at, you know, I was reading it while the Dodger game was going on. Oh shoot. Stuff, that's Ooh, probably like, I know. So. Yeah. I'm, beautiful, beautiful girl. <laughs> Hi, baby. Phoenix is three years old now. Mom and Dad made enchiladas. And Dodgers. Oh, look at this plate there. Does it have beans too? Yeah, Rachel's beans. I don't like beans. Weirdo. <laughs> and... Big Mexican. I know. God, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god. The Dodger game is Mom, on. Let's go. Bring it. Mom, this is a replay. <laughs> They need but to win this. I appreciate <laughs> how blonde I am. <laughs> they need to win this to go to the World Series. They won again. <laughs> the sour. Actually, I have worse. Oh, yeah, there you go. Forehead. Good, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to use. <laughs> this is just sour patch. Sour patch kids' heads. Which twins are <laughs> so cute. Oh, he's in heaven now. happy. All that expensive makeup all at oh, once. It's so worth it. <laughs> I know. Look at this cutie. He loves Rachel's heating pad. Oh my gosh, look at it out here. It's so beautiful. And look at the moon. It's like the perfect October night. It's so stunning, it's so bright. Oh, Dingy. Dingy's got his little kill in it. And it glows in the dark. <laughs> oh, bunny. Huh. Trying out this, uh, what is it called? Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Who am I? But I've never made tea before. <laughs> so I'm boiling water, and this tea is supposed to, like, help with insomnia, which, you know, I have. <laughs> Last night, I didn't go to bed until, like, 3 in the morning, so. Hopefully this helps. This is supposed to be like really good for you, I guess, to drink before bed. And I've never been a tea person, but we're gonna try it. All right, the water's boiling. It's boiling. Okay. Now I'm supposed to like leave this, I guess. It's still so hot. Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna. Die. Did you add your honey? Oh yeah. That's a mistake. I just try it. That's a big mistake. <laughs> So you can't even taste it. Okay, well that wasn't a look of utter disgust. So this good. <laughs> I'm on the right track. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let me add it's so hot. ten like, spoons of honey. Like burn myself. Add a Reese's cup in there. <laughs> add some flavor. <laughs> <laughs> sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> natural sugar. Uh, yes, sugar. Gary, it's a natural sweetener. It's good for you, sugar. You'd probably be up for like 10 hours. <laughs> no. Is this supposed to help my insomnia? What do you want? Does this ever cool down? Like, what the fuck? It was boiling water. I know, it's just sitting here doing tissues. It's just like fucking coffee. It's fine. Oh my god. Not a fave. You <laughs> like. <laughs> Obviously, I hate it, but like, I, I'm not gonna like make this and drink it and crave it. <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, it was your no, first I time. Do. I do know. <laughs> like, it's not bad, right? No, it reminds me of something. I think it's just the honey. <laughs> it's probably just the honey. Probably. This is what I made the tea in, and to be honest, you know, I'm not much of a tea drinker, and this is just okay for me. <laughs> like, I just don't see myself drinking a lot of tea. I'm definitely more of a coffee person, but I just wanted to try that tea because I've heard that it's supposed to, like, really help you with your insomnia, which is something that I really struggle with, especially lately. ASMR has definitely 
helped with my insomnia over the years, but even now and then I still have these nights where I'm up to like three in the morning for no apparent reason. And oh my god, I am just so frustrated with myself in this last month and in, like within these last few weeks. I feel like I've been waiting all year for October to like, you know, read horror books and like make the best content that I've ever made. And ever since October has begun, I've just felt so overwhelmed and just kind of like, I don't know, like October has just been a super frustrating month so far for me. Because not only has it been really hard with my sister being sick, you know, like she's still been home from work for the entire October so far. She doesn't go back until later this week, but she has a kidney stone and it's been really hard. She's been dairy free. And everything about that situation has just been really hard. Like, obviously that's been much harder for her to deal with, but it's also just been hard for me to, like, see her in pain and not be able to do anything about it. I have no motivation to, like, do anything. I'm just, like, in a weird funk. And I know it's, like, I shouldn't be so hard on myself because 2020 is, like, literally the shittiest year ever and, like, the election is literally over in two weeks from today. Like, it's two weeks until November 3rd and the added stress and pressure of this election like it feels so heavy on my chest like every day that's all anybody talks about it's just stressful and i don't know i maybe i'm just like burnt out i don't know i had so many fun reading things planned and so many different videos i wanted to do this month and then i just got hit with this creative block i guess like i just don't want to do anything and i'm mad because october should have been the best month of the year for me and so far it's just been not that great. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my fucking tea. Hello, it is October like 24th or something and I just wanted to show you I've gotten some really awesome things in the mail recently. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to show you is my friend Kendra sent me this mermaid drawing that she literally drew herself like it is so beautiful and she is so talented and I just can't even believe this. She also sent me this little playlist of music that's like good for anxiety and like calming music and like she is so sweet like that is so kind and I just adore getting letters from her so much like she's literally the sweetest and then I also just got this very exciting package from Netflix film and it's all for that movie Rebecca that just came out on Netflix and it's so crazy because as I saw this movie was coming out, I was like, you know, I've never read the classic Rebecca. Like, I should probably read that soon. And I was literally planning on potentially reading this book soon. And then what do you know? They sent it in the freaking box. And like, look at how stunning this cover is. You know, I'm not usually a fan of like movie themed covers, like when they actually take the movie poster, but like, this is beautiful. And the spine is beautiful. And the back is beautiful. Like, this is, wow, amazing. Anyways, in other news, the Dodgers are playing in the World Series again tonight. I think tonight is game four, and I'm very excited about it. I think the Dodgers are going to win the World Series this year, and I honestly couldn't be more excited about that because I've wanted them to win for like the last two years straight, but this is their year. I can feel it. Hello, good morning. It is October 26th. Yesterday was the 10 year anniversary of Speak Now, which like, holy shit. And I'm wearing this new like pink sweater that I got from Target the other day. And I'm not sure if I pull it off because I don't really think that pink is my color. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to let you know that I just started listening to my first audiobook on the Libby app. After I uploaded my favorite audiobooks video, I was talking about the Overdrive app and how like frustrating it is that you can't listen to books at faster than two times speed. And that everyone was so kind enough to let me know that Libby is like this apparently the same app as overdrive but it's like it's through your library but it's like a more advanced app so it's like basically the same thing and so i downloaded libby and so i've been listening to my first audiobook on libby today libby is definitely easier to use than overdrive i feel like overdrive hasn't been updated in like fucking 10 years or something but i feel like libby is like more user friendly i guess which i really like but something that i don't really like is that i don't think it downloads the audiobook in the same way that overdrive does because it'll be like connected to my internet connection or something so when i'm not on an internet like wi-fi connection it'll like lose my spot in the audiobook and that is really not cool like this morning i was listening to it and then it just stopped playing for a second and i was like what the heck and i looked at my phone and it said network error and stuff and then i was like wait what and then when i hit play again it set me back like three chapters in the audiobook and i was like wait i've already listened to this and i was like so confused trying to find where i was at in the audiobook so like that's not cool because i 
really love on overdrive how it literally downloads the audiobook to your phone so like you don't have to be worried about being connected to a wi-fi network you know while you're listening so that's the only thing that's kind of like eh, that i've noticed about libby but um but i'm gonna be listening to more of it today i'm currently listening to this book at the end of october which is like you know so ironic because it is the end of october and so far it's this really intense sci-fi crazy novel that's about this pandemic that's like wiping out the fucking planet and it's like you know really terrifying to listen to because it's just it fits it's real it's happening <laughs> There were people lying on the rocks, exhausted and dehydrated, perhaps even dead, in this hard to determine. So, it's October 27th. 27th. Uh, it's an iconic day. And the Dodgers might win the World Series right now. That's where we're at. We're on game six. We're in the eighth inning. And the Dodgers are winning three to one. <laughs> and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah. If the Dodgers win, I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> the Dodgers haven't won a World Series since 1988, and that's before my lifetime. That was before I was born. So I've never seen my team win the World Series, and I'm gonna die. Like, it's gonna be the highlight of 2020 for me. <laughs> right? Besides getting Tank. Folklore Tank Dodgers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god. Cover your little ears. Tank is so amped for the Dodgers to win right now. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> He's wearing his little Lakers as support for LA, even though he does have a Dodgers thing too. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck, dude, I've been waiting for this for so long! We done did it. We did that. The Dodgers won the World Series. I never thought I would get to say those words, you know? Like the last two years, we were in the World Series and we lost the last two years and it's been devastating. They pulled through, they won the World Series. Like, I'm so excited. I've been a Dodger fan since I came out of the womb, you know? Like I was born in South Bay, which is Los Angeles area. And my entire family in California is a bunch of huge Dodger fans. It's just so surreal to see them win the World Series. Like, I'm so proud. And I just can't believe it's finally our time. <laughs> like, it's been 32 years since they last won the World Series, and that was before my lifetime. And I'm just so excited to finally watch my favorite team win the World Series. Okay, I'll shut up about it now, because I know you probably don't care, but I'm, I'm so excited. What are we baking today? We are baking a pumpkin, spi or pumpkin spice roll. Roll. Pumpkin spice pumpkin roll. That's good spice She's roll. using this cute ass little cup. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Look at that mask. One of her. It's so cute. Oh, oh my, my god. And the cute. They're so cute. That's adorable. And then I got. No? We got. Wow. <laughs> Rachel's mermaid hair. No jumping ahead, mom. Okay. No jumping ahead. Okay. Okay. One and a half of a teaspoon. <laughs> Make sure to get these measurements correct. Wow. Okay, we can add a little extra cinnamon. Yeah, why not? I've never been against that. Never mm. killed anyone. Actually, it's nice. Next, half of a teaspoon. Half. Powder. Whoa, well, Mom's jumping ahead again. <laughs> hey, what can I say? <laughs> okay, we need ginger. The apples are ripe. Ginger. Ooh. One whole teaspoon? Oh, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, I love that. Careful, it's gonna... Splash Relax. On you. I just splashed on your pretty shirt. Splatter. Oh, I think I messed up anyways. It's two-thirds of a cup, but I'm using one fourth. <gasps> so is that more, right? It requires more than. Yeah, because yeah. it's a fourth. Two of these. <laughs> you guys went to school. Okay, whatever. It's been forever. We're just eyeballing this. Yeah. Things changed since I've been in school. We're just going to eyeball what it. What they call it? You have to add sideways. I don't know. Ooh. Pumpkin is spread. It looks so good. I'm so excited to do this because I've messed up every year. <laughs> what do breaks, you mean? It breaks and it's like. It's Mom, make the best pumpkin rolls I've ever had. And we want nuts, pecans. Hell yeah, all the nuts. Okay. Yeah. All. Okay. All nuts. Lots nuts, nuts is yes. Say hi. Say hi. No, she about it. Hi, baby. <laughs> Pumpkin.
bacon loaf. <laughs> cream cheese in there. Oh, amazing. Do you want anything over the top of it? Or and cookies, what? Here is the final result. Oh yes, that looks amazing. Okay, mom, do you want to cut it? Be the oh, honors. No. What do you know now? I want you to cut it. You made it. Okay then. I'll t I'll t I'll no. video you. Okay, this is the okay. So we're doing the end. So this is nothing. Right. This is to get a clean cut. Mmm. Looks like cinnamon roll. Oh. Wow. Oh, honey, that's beautiful. <laughs> right? Oh my oh. god. Moment of truth. Mm. <laughs> Happy camper. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> the best. No, this is like the fluffiest perfect cake ever. It absolutely. Oh my god, is. yes. And add a little pecan for crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Oh my god, mom. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. Mmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, look at it out here. Man. October sunsets or something else. Wow. Hello, it is November 2nd. It's already November. Where is this year gone? And Halloween was actually super, super fun this year. I had it off work and I actually did an entire Halloween reading vlog. So if you missed that, I'll link that down below. But it was really fun. Me and my family went to this like pumpkin patch and this corn maze. And it was at this like apple tree farm. And it was just a really fun morning. And then uh, in, at night, we ended up watching three movies in the afternoon. In the nighttime, we watched Scream 2. And then we watched that movie Haunt, which was actually really good and like perfect for a Halloween movie. And then at the end of the night, we watched The Shining, which we do every, every single Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, I've pretty much been waiting ever since I bought this candle, this frozen lake candle. I've been waiting for months to use it because I just feel like the smell is like perfect for like November. <laughs> And like this time of year specifically so i haven't even lit it yet and i'm so excited that i can finally use this candle now it just feels right you know we found out some pretty terrible news in regards to my sister's health so they thought she had a kidney stone and like that was bad enough you know but like now she had her appointment with the urologist and they actually said that she was born with this giant mass in her kidney that has collected 20 to 30 kidney stones over the years. And so she has to get surgery to get this giant mass out of her kidney. And yeah, we're all pretty uh, nervous about that. Like this week is just really stressful because tomorrow is election day <laughs> on November 3rd. And then the day after that, she has her appointment with the doctor to go in and talk about, talk to the surgeon about like what they're going to do and how the surgery is going to go and to schedule when that will be. And it's just a really freaking stressful time. It's just not a fun time. So I'm just trying to distract myself with like books and anything to just not think about what's going on in the world right now and what's going to be going on with my sister because I'm sad and I'm scared and <laughs> I just want her to be okay. November 3rd, it's the morning of the election, and I'm wearing all blue because I'm feeling optimistic. <laughs> it's like pouring rain right now, like it's dumping so hard, and like it hasn't rained like this in a while, so I'm kind of shook over this. I hope this isn't like a bad sign from the universe, you know, like the universe is already crying over this election, you know, I really, I just... <laughs> I gotta keep it optimistic. I'm not one to be optimistic, but I'm feeling optimistic today. Hello, it is November 
4th now and it is the day after election day and today has been extremely challenging and brutal for a few different reasons because I mean for one we still don't know who the president is they haven't announced it yet and I don't know I had assumed that we would find out on election day because anytime like I've always watched these elections growing up you know and every time I've watched the election to my memory we find out on election night usually so I was pretty shook that we didn't find out last night and pretty upset about it because I just knew that this was going to give me so much anxiety for a long period of time if we didn't find out right away and we didn't find out right away and now it's like two days and we still don't know and we might find out tomorrow but we don't know it might be like a week and so that has been really stressful and then on top of that today my sister had her appointment with the surgeon to talk about the surgery she's going to have to get and they planned for it in December so it's actually not going to be as soon as I thought it would be but it's just you know it's also really just scary you know hearing about her surgery and just you know worrying about her and her health and they said she's pretty young to be getting this surgery which is surprising to them but it's like I think it's it betters her chances for a successful surgery so I don't know it's just been a really hard day I woke up with like the worst headache and I think it's because I didn't sleep barely at all last night because I've been so nervous about this election and it just sucks that we don't know and that I'm still gonna go to bed tonight not knowing and then on top of all of these things today November 4th is the one year anniversary of my trip to New York we went to New York last year from November 4th through November 9th and it was like literally one of the best trips of my life. It was like the highlight of 2019 for me and I can't believe it's already been a year. Like what the heck? <sighs> it's just really sad and I just miss New York so much and I'm so glad that we went when we did because honestly like I don't know when it's going to be safe to travel like that again and if it's going to be the same. I'm so grateful that we took that trip when we did but... I just can't believe it's been a year. I just miss it so much. And every time I think about 2019, it just makes me want to cry because I just miss, you know, normal things like going on trips to New York or like going to the movies or going out to eat. Like, it's just, oh, it just reminds me how shit this year has been, so. But anyways, I've been reading one of my favorite books of the year all day today and it's really helped me deal with all of the anxiety that I've been dealing with today. So I am forever grateful to Victoria Schwab for helping me get through this really difficult time. Hi, um, it's November 6th today and we still don't have a president selected from the election yet. To say I'm stressed out and just kind of over this whole election thing would be an understatement. I'm just, I'm tired of waking up every day and it's still the election. But we did wake up to the great news today that Georgia and Pennsylvania turned blue. And I mean, it's not confirmed that they'll stay blue or anything, but they turned blue like Biden is now in the lead in both of those states. And things are looking real good because he's still in the lead in Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Georgia and Arizona. And like, I'm pretty confident that today they're gonna announce that Biden won, so things are looking up. I feel good about it. But last night while I was at work, I got this like freaking cut on my hand and it really freaking hurt and it wouldn't stop bleeding last night and I was like, what the heck? I don't even really remember how I did it. I was just like walking around a corner and I just like slammed my hand into the wall and then I was just like, ooh, that hurt. And then I was just looking at it and it was like bleeding a lot. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> November 7th and we woke up to the news today that Biden won! Thank freaking god. Uh -huh. Thank fucking god. I have, uh, I mean like we kind of knew since you know like yesterday or the day before that he was probably gonna win but just seeing it confirmed Big like deal. holy shit. I haven't, I haven't been able to stop crying all morning like I don't know what's wrong with me but I'm just like so fucking relieved and we have our first female vice president! <laughs> Still feels like so surreal to even say out loud. Like I, I can't believe it. Oh, I just feel so much love and warmth today from the world. And we're celebrating tonight. <laughs> we're celebrating now by getting Starbucks actually. So. Actually. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Did you not think it was gonna be the way around? Yeah, it just got crazy. Oh. Hey, what's up? It's the night of November 7th and Joe Biden just got elected as president. So of course I'm wearing blue, my sister braided my hair and we're celebrating tonight. I mean, I work tonight, I'm closing manager, so you know, it is what it is. But um, afterwards I'm bringing my growler to work so that we can pour some cider. 
and then bringing that home so that we can celebrate and I'm just so excited and so relieved and honestly I was crying all morning and I'm just like still so emotional about it and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to be an American right now. I'm so proud. The police arrived on the scene. They found the bullets casing on the floor in a position that looked staged. Also, police discovered that they were about after everything. I just, I can't wait to see what the next year's gonna bring. And I'm just very excited and I'm very Gotta cheers it for Biden. <laughs> yes. Yes, let's go. Cheers. Let's go, cheers! cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking cheers, America. It has been such a great day. I have felt so fucking happy and i felt so much joy in my heart today and i've literally just been like scrolling on my phone like literally all morning all i did was scroll on my phone and be on my phone and wish i was in cities where they are literally celebrating dancing in the streets it just looks so amazing and then i went to work tonight and it was just so great to be around everyone at work everybody's so freaking hyped and i'm just really hyped and i'm really freaking grateful that america came through i don't want to think about how close this election was right now i just want to i just want to be grateful and be happy in the moment and just be like yes we won goodbye trump goodbye you will not be missed pack your shit and i feel like that is the perfect way to end this vlog i was actually waiting to end this vlog until the end of the election because i just wanted it to all be like one cohesive you know thing that exists together in the same vlog so woohoo biden and harris it's real it's happening their speeches tonight were beautiful they brought me to tears and i'm just really hopeful for the future of america for the first time in like four years <laughs> It's a great night. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire vlog all the way till the end. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I will catch you guys soon with a new video. Bye.